What's up, what's up? I'm Rebuilder Guy, and I'm currently in the process of rebuilding this super awesome boat. But I ran into a bit of a dilemma. I needed a truck to pull this boat. So I went to the auction and I picked one up. But before I did that, I went to Facebook Marketplace to find a local deal that I didn't have to rebuild and that I could just get and drive. And I found this 2014 Dodge Ram pickup for 12 grand, 52,000 miles. I mean, what's not to love about this? This is perfect. Shoot, I paid more money for a wrecked one, which you'll see here a little bit later. Then I started reading the description. Has a rebuilt title. I have no problems with that. I've always had rebuilt titles, so no issue. But then it says this, has one minor accident before on the front fender. We fixed very good, nothing wrong now on great deal like new truck. Yeah, that doesn't sit well with me. And so what I did is I used this company called AutoAuctions.io. I took this VIN number and I put it into the site. Look at this. How is this a light damage? That is not a light damage. That is insane. So whenever you're purchasing a used vehicle, doesn't matter if it's clean or salvaged or rebuild, use this website, save yourself some time, money and headache, because this could have been definitely costly for me. It gives you a whole bunch of vital information, where it's been sold, how much, if it's been previously sold. I mean, it even works on clean title cars. Look at this 2019 Volvo XC90. They want 27.8 for it, clean title. You think the dealer that's gonna be rebuilding this is gonna tell you it's been wrecked? I don't think so. Look at that blown airbag there as well. Definitely, definitely use this website to save some money and headache. I mean, they got boats, here's my boat. They got jet skis, remember Big Bird that we rebuilt on the channel. Heck, they even got zero turn motor, oh, what are the mowers? Anything that goes through the auction ends up on this site. AutoAuctions.io. I'm going to link them down below. Now let's go see what I picked up. And here's the new project. It looks like it was doing a whole bunch of ramming, not enough dodging. <laughs> Oh, got those toolboxes on the side too. All right, let's go get this thing unloaded. Unloaded, now let's look at the damage. The auction says it was a theft recovery. Maybe the guy was running away from something and smashed into a guardrail, who knows? But look at this. It doesn't look too bad, but something's, something's not sitting right with me. Let's look at this, the apron is smashed up. The frame underneath looks decent. The front rails look good as well. This suspension, it does have air suspension as well. It's shot, gotta get new control arms, upper, lower, front bumper. This grill took a little hit here as well. I think that's repairable. Let's see what it's looking like here. If this hood is not aluminum, I think I'll be able to repair it as well. Know, where's this thing at? Gas shocks, that's right. Awesome, yeah, I don't know 
about this hood, what we can do about it. Intake is destroyed. We'll probably start looking for an aftermarket option for it. I'm hoping you guys are liking the new mic settings and I'm not shouting as much anymore. I kept playing with them. Hopefully they're, they're all right. Over here we got some more damage to the door, to the rear door and underneath as well. Today I want to take apart this front end and see how bad it is and see if this cab shifted at all. Let's see what's going on in here. That's not too bad. We'll get that fixed. This interior though, that red matches the boat flawlessly. This thing has every single possible option. It even has a sunroof. Thing is awesome. Let's keep walking around. Let's see what's going on with it. Over here on the ram boxes like they call them we got punched out locks so i guess that's why they said it was a theft recovery over here on the back side we got a backup camera pretty sweet over here we got that tow package this is what i was really looking forward to because i need to tow that boat and that's definitely going to help underneath there's a little bit of surface rust, nothing too scary. It came from Corpus, so there's some salt in the air. I also damaged that rear sway bar, you see that? I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. With the forklift, I didn't have anywhere else to grab onto, so I'm definitely gonna do something about that. On this side, we got punched out locks as well. Da -da. Theft recovery. Okay, let's jump on inside. Mirrors are good good these tires are shot at least the rear ones are yeah they're already breaking down so probably get some new tires possibly some new wheels i like them they're pretty decent let's see what we got going on here Whew, that interior though i always get cars with awesome interiors don't i that rebel stitching no airbags deployed this is cool let me check the seat belts yeah, this one's good. I was worried about this one for a second. No, this one's good as well. Yeah, this interior is awesome. Got that big screen, trailer brakes, four-wheel drive. Oh yeah, this is th this thing's four by four, two-wheel drive, four-wheel lock, four-wheel low. Yeah, we don't have keys for it, so unfortunately I can't start it up. But that's definitely the next thing that I'm gonna do real quick. Oh, it even has the Alpine sound system. That's pretty cool. There's a speaker. Let me see. Oh yeah, the speakers are up here. That's awesome. Oh yeah, that sunroof though. Okay, right now I'm gonna jump on the front end to get that sorted, figured out what I need to order. I'm gonna also go ahead and call Dodge, see if I could get a key made for this thing so I could possibly get it fired up. This was a great buy. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for it. You just gotta wait for, till the end. Damaged components have been removed. Let's look at this frame a little bit. We got a little bit of a bent out section here. Also here on the lower control arm. 
but the frame itself looks to be okay. Except for when we come here. This cab was definitely pushed up by this wheel in this section. So definitely some finagling is gonna have to happen. I'm thinking back out the bolts or first pull, then back out the bolts, get some new bolts, possibly some new bushings here as well. If you can see that, that needs to come up as well. But I don't see any creases, any cracks. So that's a good sign. Underneath on the middle bolt that holds the frame to the cab is also dinged up a bit. So I gotta check that out as well. What I'm very happy about is the ECU is intact. There's no damage. Pretty, pretty happy about that. And that is it for the damage. I mean, we should be okay. Let's go jump inside and talk about how much this cost me and how much I project for this to end up. All right, let's talk about the numbers. So, if we open up autoauctions.io, we see that I bought it for $12,250. And uh, compared to the other trucks, that were available or that sold already in the past. I'm right there, right in that ballpark. Uh, after fees and everything else, uh, I'm gonna be at 13,300 delivered here. And uh, I think that's not too bad. I wanna be right under 20 grand, if not just a little bit over. Uh, that's the goal for this truck. I think I should manage that. And I just wanted to bring something else up, guys. I pulled this auto check deal and check this out. It states, no accident reported, no other damage reported. Looks like a great deal, right? If you didn't know the history of this truck. So he just says salvage brand, one owner. So these auto checks only provide half of the story. See, it says no damage, and we obviously see some damage, especially to that cab, to how it shifted. But there is just one record, and it states theft. And that's the only history that these auto checks will pull. So definitely use autoauctions.io to save yourself a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of headache. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.